just like that seven trades in you guys can see here i started with a hundred dollars deposit and i ended with 207 so profit 107 dollars so i doubled my account and then that is a successful channel welcome back all my legends today is probably one of the best milestones i ever had in forex trading i'm finally able to double my 100 account i know it's not a big step well it is a big step it's not a big uh profit but it is a big step and today i just want to show you guys the account uh today is october 1st 2020 the day uh, i doubled my account officially with my last trade and i'll be showing you guys my account i'll be showing you guys uh, i'm gonna withdraw 25 percent i'll walk you guys through how i'm paying myself and i'm just gonna hopefully stick to it and let's see how far i can keep doubling this account right so let's move straight to it it's been a long time coming i've been trading since 2018 on and off every year i quit at least once and here i am again i don't know why trading always calls back to me but here i am i already showed you guys a couple of these trades uh, but today i'll briefly show you guys my euro usd trade here um yeah so let's do it so 10 let me mark it up it's a pretty aggressive trading style it's either like i said either i double my count or hit my take profit or i lose my whole count um, it's not a traditional trading method but i mean if you're gonna be one percent you're gonna be doing something different than the rest so here i am i entered there there's a drawdown of 12 pips on a 0.18 uh, loss size. And I hit profit, uh, what is it, 13.02. Uh, there you go. And I hit profit at 17.49, 17.49, 17 it barely hit take profit and then it went back to drawdown. It went back to drawdown and then it came and blasted through the take profit. I took notes. Let me see how many pips it was. Take profit was 13.5 pips. Uh, my it was supposed to only be what is it? 18 dollars for my take profit, but then because uh, I was only aiming for 10 pips, but then after I the entry, I got a good entry. So my take profit is actually 13.5 pips, which gave me an extra. Uh, six dollars into my trading so you guys can see here um or even more than six dollars eight dollars actually because the take profit was 26.1 yeah okay so that's about it about that trade or oh, i'll walk you guys through how i took the trade that's the entry so like i said all you need is the moving averages moving averages trend line support resistance so obviously here when i enter it went against me but uh the trend line here, you see here, trend line. Oh shoot, delete that. Trend line. My entry was around right here. Trend line was right here. All right, one, two. That's the third point. Even though it blasted through it, uh, trading, like I said, trading is not perfect. It's not gonna hit exactly that spot. Uh, it's more like a zone. That, I mean, it went draw down pretty far, but yeah, it still worked out. So there you go, the support resistance uh, through there, zoom back out. You see here, there's a lot of resistance right here, right here. So even my entry was basically the resistance or the support. Um, my take profit was just, I entered there, take profit was just a little halfway through here. Boom, there you go. And I got my uh, what, 12, what did I say, 13.5 pips. And then, like I said, make sure it's hitting the moving averages above all the moving averages for the M15, M30. I think H4 or something was not. Um, so entry here, see, it was above uh, both moving averages. See, H4, like I said, the higher time frames, uh, it doesn't need to be perfect as much as the M15 to H1. H4, as long as it was above the MA50, I was okay with it because uh, usually when it crosses the MA50, sometimes, of course, it's never always, it's going to move in the, 
uh, that direction. So we crossed it, you see here, it went that direction. So now it's consolidating here. Daily, I think daily was good. See, daily was above the MA50. So my bias through all the time frames was more of a buy. So that's why I took it. Usually I would rather, of course, you rather all the prices stay within the move averages uh, that you want, but it just didn't work. It just wasn't that way. But after I drew my support resistance, and my trend line, I looked at all the time frames. I was, I was pretty confident that it was gonna go my way. So how am I gonna pay myself? All right. So obviously, I want to compound my account, but I want to build the discipline to pay myself a little bit each time that I double each account. So what I'm gonna do is, for every time I double my account, I'm gonna take 25%. Right. So 207. I did a math here. Starting balance was $100 and. So I doubled it to 200. I'm gonna take out $50. So after, so then it's gonna leave me with $150 left. Then once I double it, it's gonna be $300. 25% of 300 is $75. And then I add it to 50, which gets me to $125 profit. And basically, I just keep doing that and uh, see how far I can go, right? So every time I double account, basically, I just take 25%. Every time I double account, I just take 25%. And I'm gonna see how far. How much I can double it? If I can double it ten times, I'm gonna be profiting five grand total. Um, but I'm gonna see how I feel because uh, once you start trading the bigger account, you're gonna feel more emotions. Because at one percent of uh, or ten percent of a one hundred dollar account is only ten dollars, but then ten percent of a a thousand ten percent of a thousand dollar account is a hundred. Ten thousand is thousand. So of course there's gonna be more emotions to it. But I'm happy to have reached this challenge goal, success. And thank you guys all for watching. If you guys have any questions, uh, comment down below. If this helped you guys, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and just keep over the journey. Hopefully, hoping you guys are having great success with trading as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.